Welcome back to Face the State on this Sunday morning. It is now time for our Face the State flashback deep in the Channel 3 archives. Some 30 years ago, a 42-year-old businessman named Donald Trump was featured on Channel 3 Eyewitness News in a report on our evening news. He spoke to our then business reporter Jim Vicevich about something very Trump-centric. It was Trump, the game. It's just what you might expect from Donald Trump, arriving by helicopter, landing on the front lawn of Milton Bradley. Sometimes it seems everything he touches turns to gold or at least green, so naturally workers wanted to touch him. This was the reason for his visit, though, Donald Trump the game. Introduced in February, it gives players the chance to wheel and deal in real estate just like the man. And after receiving the first copy to run off the line, he urged the workers to make some money themselves. Get some overtime, you know, this way you... Double them up. Double them up. Have a good time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. What's the lifetime thing, you know? Donald Trump. Not worth a lot of money. It's good for the game. All needs some hype. A little hype. It makes, it makes money, you know? That's good for you? Well, you know, in the long run, it will be. You got to figure as successful as Trump the investor, Trump the entrepreneur is, Trump the game would be just as successful. And if that's your guess, well, then you're right. Game is number one right now. It's been out about two and a half weeks, which is amazing. In the stores that it's in, it's clearly the number one product in the game category. I, I guess uh, knowing nothing about games like this, I guess you'd have to always shoot at Monopoly, and if we could do as well and last as long as Monopoly, that would be great. And after one final autograph on a dollar bill, Trump the man left to continue playing the real-life version of Trump the game. I'm Jim Weisvich, Channel 3 Eyewitness News, East Longmeadow. And that's the way it was in 1989, a future president hawking his new board game. Jim Vicevich, by the way, I know many of you been, have been concerned about him because he's not been on the radio for quite some time. He tells me he is getting better, hopes to return soon, and of course, come on, face his date as a guest. Jim, of course, we wish you well. And I'd like to know, does anybody out there have this board game at home? You can find me on social media right now and share your comments with us and what you think about today's program. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, Twitter. CBS Sunday Morning with Connecticut's own Jane Polly is coming up next right here on Channel 3. And don't forget Patriots and Dolphins at 1 o'clock right here on Channel 3. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Thanks so much for watching.